COP28 is coming to end. What is your assessment for the results? I think we need to give a lot of credit to the COP presidency. Uh, Dr. Sultan, he is really doing enormous work in pulling together everybody towards a reasonable, agreed outcome. And us coming from the developing world, we will definitely support that, uh, that, that approach. Uh, and I have no doubt in my mind that uh, with the energy and passion Dr. Sultan, our president of the COP, is doing, we will get a positive outcome. Comparing the, uh, mm. the previous versions for COP, mm -hmm. can you describe this COP with a, a few uh, words? I think we must give lots of credit to United Arab Emirates for the facilities, exemplary exceptional facilities that they've put at the disposal of, uh, at the service of the participants here. Amazing facilities, amazing generosity. But beyond that, really, the, the facilitation of the process itself. Uh, from the day one, the UAE announced significant uh, support and pledges on finances, pledges on investment in renewables and so on. We really think that uh, UAE has, uh, has done uh, tremendous uh, work uh, in trying to make sure that the, wo the world addresses this uh, problem of humanity. Last question only. Uh, what are the most important projects that Kenya is focusing on on the field of, of environment and uh, climate? I think in, whilst here uh, on uh, second, uh, no, on first of uh, second of December, uh, President William Ruto, together with a number of African heads of state and government and the co-presidency, launched what we are calling Africa Green Industrialization Initiative, that is looking at attracting investment in manufacturing, tapping into the resources of the of the continent, whether it is agricultural resources or critical mineral resources or the energy resources. So what we are looking at is to attract investments in Kenya and in Africa to help the global community decarbonize, because really that is where the potential is, the fastest growing continent, the continent with the greatest potential of renewable, the continent with the, 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 the largest uh, and cultivated land, the continent with the, the youngest population and all that. You know, all this abundance of resources needs to be tapped. And, and so if you ask on the priorities for the continent, I think that those are the priorities of Africa and Kenya. And we have captured this uh, very succinctly in a document we call the Nairobi Declaration that was adopted by our heads of state and government in September of this year in a summit called Africa Climate Summit. Thank you so much.